Hi. We're back with the hinging and we're doing today. Um, the starter, if you want to start deadlifting, this is a great way to start. I'm using an elevated kettlebell to start deadlifting. Um, other guys, and I can show you, I've got a dumbbell not too far. Other guys prefer dumbbells to use this and I can show you how to do that as well. But uh, I like elevating, elevating kettlebells, that's how I was taught to do it. Now with the deadlift, you've got two big rules. Number one, no rounding the back. I don't know if you can make that out. Right, you can't be rounding the back in a deadlift. The other rule is do not allow your shoulders to go lower than your hips, all right? So no rounding the back, shoulders not lower than hips. As long as you keep up with those two golden rules, you can't really go too wrong. Everything else is pretty much just a variable. Let's get you set up here. So as you see, I have a step and I have a kettlebell on it. Now, what I'm gonna to work to do, can you see me? Can you see? Yeah, pretty much. Right. So, I'm gonna keep that back nice and straight. Ribs down, facing forward. I'm gonna reach down, keeping my shoulders back. Bum back. I'm gonna stand up. Bum through. Squeeze the cheeks at the top. As we go down, make sure we are forcing that bum back. Ribs down. You get it? No good. I have, uh. See that later, right? All right. This is the other variation with the kettle uh, the dumbbell, excuse me, on this side. Get a teacher points the same, ribs down, bump back, grab a hold, up we come. That's all you gotta do. That's how you start getting that's how you start deadlifting. Hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you soon. Thank you, guys.